Kevin Reynolds with Tennessee's Bees. Today we're going to be putting an extra wax coating on plastic foundation. You can see over here we have a little crock pot and it's full of our own beeswax that we've pulled off of old combs, drone combs, or just like this right here. We had some honey supers and this was just one super where the bees had built some burr comb on top and we scraped it off and by the time it melts down it'll be quite smaller than that and we'll have to run it through some cheesecloth and a few other things. You can see some frames that we've already done. Um, right now we're in the process of over probably the next year uh, waxing and installing and all that. Uh, 5,000 sheets of plastic foundation. As you can see it's from Acorn. We really like Acorn. I've used Pierco. I've used Right Cell. Um, I really like the Acorn. Uh, Pierco has done really well for me. I don't like plastic frames. I don't mind plastic in, in the foundation. Plastic frames, ugh. But uh, right cell just uh, doesn't seem to be quite deep enough for me um, and for the bees. Um, the acorn is, has a really nice, sorry my lighting is bad, has a really nice deep cell. And uh, this is just one thin coat that comes with the acorn and in a good flow and a strong colony they draw it fine they really do um, where you have issues especially is when you make a five frame split um, say you start with packages something like that and the bees do not really want to work this plastic and I don't care who you are uh, bees don't care for plastic as well as they do wax foundation but one of the advantages of plastic foundation is that it's cheaper and it's so much faster to install, it's not even funny. You can scrape it off and they'll redraw it back out. You can't do that with wax. Eventually, we're going to probably move over to entirely wax once we're able to produce enough wax that we can do all of our own. I don't like the idea of purchasing a more expensive wax that's really hard, takes a long time to put in, and then on top of that has a lot of uh, chemicals from years of commercial beekeeping. So. And especially right now as we're growing in our business, we want something that's quick and easy because um, I have another job. And so I need something that's going to work quick for me and still be good for the bees. Once it's drawn out, the bees will work this just as good as wax foundation. Just the initial acceptance really needs to be increased in my opinion. All right. So you can get a crock pot like this one right here. Just your standard little crock pot. Melt your wax. Get yourself a roller. This is a really fine foam roller. And don't get something that's thick that will hold a lot. You don't want a whole lot of hair or anything on it. You want something really smooth and won't soak up a whole lot of wax. You don't need that. Um, you don't need to put a whole lot in it at a time. So just take it. Make sure that the roller is hot. You want it to keep warm. And let it drip off. And just... You don't push very hard unless you're wanting a lot on there. And you can't get it perfectly even. Oh, I'm sorry. That's why you looked at the camera, Cayman. Can't get it perfectly even. That's a pretty heavy coat for us. You can just go like that and add just a little bit of a coat. This is why a lot of times I bring my wife around because she's so good with a camera. And I am terrible with technology. That's why I like beekeeping, right? There we go. That's why I like beekeeping. That's why I'm not sure if I'm going to enjoy the, the flow hive and all that, just for the fact that there's too much innovation going on here. What's it with that? But adds just a little coat on the top, and the bees just take right to it. They love it. It increases the acceptance so quickly, and it's very easy to do. And then you just flip the sheet. We've already got that side, so pop that into a frame later on. Just dip this in here. Sorry, my camera is not staying focused. And using our own beeswax, we can accept, get the acceptance rate so much faster on these things. It's very difficult to do this holding the camera, I've noticed, because you need your left hand to flip these things over. 
So just make sure you're not holding the camera while you're doing this and it should work fine, right? So just like that, you just need a really thin layer. And the bees just take to it so much better. Of course, you need to be feeding your bees if there's not a good honey flow going on. And for you new beekeepers, you really need to be feeding your bees until they've filled up the equivalent of two deep boxes. They really need to be fed the first year. This uh, foundation is, is a really good foundation. It's nice and deep in there. Does a good job for us, and it, it smells so much better. So it's really simple. You can either buy organic beeswax or just regular beeswax or save all of your scrapings take a bucket out there it adds up over the long haul and uh, if you're doing plastic foundation you're having issues just uh, take a little time wax it's very quick it'll greatly improve your acceptance and take a lot of the hair pulling out and frustrations out of plastic foundation thanks for watching the video